What's up, America? You back on the Power Hour with your host, Power. And tonight I have, of course, none other than the original guest tonight via satellite, a.k.a. Bricks, a.k.a. Low Standards to all y'all knuckleheads out there. Tonight is going to be the uh, revised edition, if you will, of that show, Low Standards. He's actually back to tell us another story. But tonight's title is going to be called Facebook Stalkers. This is why I said in the first show, leave that Facebook date and shit alone. So, Bricks, jump right into it. Say what's up to America. Say hello to the people. Say what's up to my hello audience. People. Tell your story, man. Okay, now. Okay, I met this young lady on of Facebook, you know, as, you know, the whole little thing. They, they know that, man. They know that. Tell us what happened, okay, man. They know that. Okay, okay, okay. Now, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to follow up to her. You know, she actually wanted to date me. You know, but, you know, I was good on all that. I didn't, you know, I didn't really want to date her. So, she actually wanted to go out on a date, like, on Friday. And I told her I had to work a double. So, you know, she was like, okay. I'm like, okay. You know, she was cool with it. Okay, you know. I was actually digging it. I was digging the fact that she was cool with it. She was. Shit, I didn't think she was going to be cool with it. You know, I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah, you digging the fact that she was cool with you working a double, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought she was cool with that. I'm like, okay, damn. I'm like, I'm going to have to keep this on the team. You know? True. So, then I get a text like 30 minutes later. Like, hey, what's up? Hold on, hold on, like, hold on. She texted you and said you ain't have to lie about working the double. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So I, so I, so I, uh, I text her back. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? She was like, I just left your job. I'm like, oh shit. Wow. <laughs> she was like, she was like, oh shit. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, oh shit. First of all, how the hell does this know where I work at? Wow. I actually told her crystals, but I, I didn't tell her rich crystals or anything. I didn't, I mean, I couldn't, I, I couldn't believe it, man. She was like, I just left your hey. job, and, it, and it, it, um, they told me that you wasn't there. Hey, I was like, so hold on. So the moral, well, not the moral, but the point of this story, you told the chick, because you was trying to avoid her, that you had to do a double. So she <laughs> went behind you to check. To see if you had the double, called your job, went no, went up to your job. Mind you, this ain't your bra, this is just some something you hit, right? You ain't even hit, right? No, first of all, I didn't even hit. She just, uh, you, just, she didn't even hit. you just you just smashed the mouth, right? You smashed the mouth. Look, 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 the only thing that makes this bad is the fact that she's thirty seven years old. She thirty seven. Hey. Thirty seven years old, man. Hey, let me ask you something. You gonna listen to power when I tell you to leave that Facebook stuff alone, man? Man. Yo. I, I might have to. I might have to, man. I, I, I can't do it anymore. I just can't, yo. I just, you lying, man. You, you gonna, I would never think she would do something like that, man. Like, <laughs> hey, guess what? Like, what, what who is that? She know where you live, though. She what? She know where you live at. Three o two Citrus Drive. <laughs> <laughs> she know where you at. She got you, son. You know what? I actually, I actually should have thought something was up. Cause she was, this way too, she was way too enthusiastic on my Like when I'm talking to her on Facebook, man. Ah, man, I'm fuck all that. You know what you need to be doing? You at home right now? No, nigga, I'm not at home. You not at home? Oh man, that's even bad. That's even worse. Well, I don't know, because she might be outside of where you at right now. I'm going to say, if you at home, you need to go check the blinds on your porch, boy. She's standing outside. Yeah, hey, good. and you know you live. You got to go downstairs in the bottom of the basement, and it's dark. Yeah. It's wet down there with mold and shit, like a fucked up basement. Bats and shit. She's standing right there in the corner, dressed in black. She going to get you, boy. You know what? Hey, you know what she gonna say when she? Cause you said she Colombian, right? Yeah, yeah. She gonna jump out on your ass. She gonna say, "Don't you marvel, say?" <laughs> <laughs> she gonna jump out on your ass like your girl from from Scarface, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, you know, you know what? They were Colombian too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Martha. Hey, that's that's old girl real name, Martha. Man, you gonna learn, Trey. You gonna learn, boy. I'm telling you, man. So what else you got for the people, man? We got a couple more minutes left on the show. You you've suffered enough, so I'm not gonna go in on you today. You suffered enough, man. Because I told you, I told you, first of all, I told you before the night you went out with that bat, all right? I told you, man, look. Stop showing the fucking tape. Stop showing the fucking tape. I told you that. You was like, I got you, you know what I'm saying? Then, I told you again, I was like, man, stop showing the fucking tape. Then you told me, man, won't you stop tripping? This is my fucking tape. You understand what I'm saying? Then, I told you again. I said, look, nigga, I'm not killing no fucking kids or no old people when we get out there. <laughs> you told me, stop acting like a little bitch right now. You don't give a fuck. You'll, you'll smoke anybody. Look what happened. They came back, blasted <laughs> at your fucking job, nigga. Hey, you know what? What? Uh, I got one question for you. I got one question for you. I got a question for you. Do you care if you live or die, son? Because, <laughs> you know, look, in the beginning, in the beginning when, when she was giving you head and shit, you was feeling like this. Come on down and say hello to our grandson. She was sucking your dick. You was like, I'm the proudest grandfather in all of L.A. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> then that bitch, hey, then that bitch came up to your job like, hey, which one of y'all came, partner? You know what I'm saying? Then you sitting there looking stupid like, uh, I don't think you know me, homie. <laughs> Then that bitch walked right up to the job like I'ma handle this, nigga. Looking off, she was looking sideways and shit when she ran when she was going up the steps in Crystal, nigga. You know the steps with the rail. She was looking sideways and shit. Man, you got your psycho on your hand, homie. I'm telling you, man. Mhm, mhm, mhm. I feel for you. I feel for you. But look, America. Huh? Oh, I know you was. Nah. Uh-uh. But look, America. America, that's been another segment on the Power Hour with one of my favorite guests all time, of all time. Please believe him. In fact, he get five stars automatically. You know what I'm saying? He's one of my favorite all times. But, again. Darkness, Darkness, baby. Hey. Remember. Hey, that's your new name, man. Darkness. I like that. Darkness. That's your new name for the show. Remember, America, stop dating online. It can end up like this. Now you got an ugly, fat, nasty, out of shape, 37-year-old woman stalking you at your job. Damn. Damn. We out. Peace. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>